about that action, boss. Welcome to the show or podcast. This is Quick and Dirty. I am fresh here alongside with uh, Jay, 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 Jay Swayze. Jay, Jay, we gonna go. We gonna go with Jack, Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger. Jack Jay Swagger. Be war whatever. Be war whatever. We figure, <laughs> <laughs> we figure it out as we go. This is the show, uh, Quick and Dirty, where we give it to you raw, we give it to you quick, and we give it to you dirty. Straight All right, forward. straightforward. <laughs> we ain't holding nothing back. <laughs> All right. So we got a bunch of topics that we want to talk about. Um, one, well, shit, uh, just keep it real. Like it's, it's draft time. We talking about the NFL. We like, talking about the NFL. As always, we're gonna talk about NFL basketball. You know, shit that people really want to hear about. Mm-hmm. Really the BS. So right now it's day what three? Of the it's draft? day three of the draft. Right, right now we we we're, like we're sitting back. We're watching the draft. This is the fifth round, one hundred and sixty-two pick. Um, at a drive, we got Baltimore right. on the clock right now. But we gonna go ahead and uh, recap everything that's happened up to this. We're point recap it. We watch recap. It. So, so let me ask you, and let me start off with you, Jay Swayze, All right. Jay Swagger. Let's go. Uh, what you, what you feel was like the best value in a draft as far as like picks? Who got who got the best value? I think um, I'd have to say either. In the first round, at least. In the, in the first round, in you the first, first round, round, at least. I would, I would have to say it was either uh, San Diego or the Dolphins. In my opinion, I'm thinking either one of those two safeties dropping that low out of the first, out of the top ten, right? Is is shoot surprising to me because both of those guys are game changers. I think right. they ball hawks. They stop the run and they can play pretty much any game of position on the field defensively. And either one of them dropping out of the top ten is crazy to me. But I know teams feel position to need. Um, as opposed to just best talent available, it depends on how you want to how you want to shape it. What about you? Right. I like. I mean, I like you. You, you said something about uh, San Diego where they picked up um, Derwin James. Derwin James is surprised that he dropped so far. Uh, you talking about a, 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 a for not picking him? Uh, <laughs> hey, it's, a, it's like Another sixteen show. teams that were stupid for not picking him. A guy that measurables are better than whatever great safeties you could think of. Yeah. Sean Taylor, Ronnie Light, Ronnie Lott. Raw Wilson, whatever. This guy's measurables is off the charts. He's big, bigger, faster, stronger than probably any player you Man, could, that's ever played the, the position. Um, but since you said him, I'm gonna go with what just occurred with um, your boy joining his uh, his twin brother in Seattle, oh, yeah. Shaquem Griffin. Yeah. Okay. I just I just okay. feel like you know if he he's out there, he's running a four three. He's uh-huh. faster than probably any DB that that that's getting picked from I don't know. I don't know. It's probably like five or six DBs that ran faster than him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and you know, he's a first round pick. Has he had? Had he had a a, a hand? Yeah. Um, true. <laughs> so you know, shit. I I wish he would have called me. I mean, he could call me now. You know, I give him my hand. You know, for, <laughs> for, a, a, for a fair price. For a fair right? price. I hook him up. You know, everything's negotiable when it comes to me. So yeah, I, I feel like man, he's gonna he's gonna run around the field. Um, in Seattle, and and he's gonna dedicate every day from here on out to being the best linebacker ever. And, but it's all you guys ask when you get a talent like that. It's yeah, blessing. yeah, it's you got a, they got a first round, a first round pick in the fourth round. Yeah, pretty much in the fourth pretty round. Much. And why why do you think he dropped so far? That's another crazy thing. Well, I, I think he dropped so far is because uh, the obvious reason is because he has dreads. Um, <laughs> nah, but no, the obvious you reason. You got to be more aerodynamic. Smelly. He doesn't have dreads. He runs a four two. You heard it here first. <laughs> but nah, but he. I mean, he doesn't have a. He doesn't have a hand. So. Yeah, but I don't think that affects you on the defensive side of the ball. He's showing that throughout his entire. You know what I'm saying? Professional. Yeah, he's caught interceptions. He's he's, he's, sure. he's made tackles, but. You know how they view it. This is the NFL. This is the big boy league. So you know they feel. You know I don't know if I would Why take him. Get a finger off in the game. You don't need limbs to, to I, play I, just, I don't know. Okay, who you take right now on the two or the three yard line? You got Leonard Fournette running at you. Uh huh. And you got Shaquem Griffin. Who's winning that battle? Oh, Leonard Fournette. <laughs> okay. 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 You could have been Are there any starting <laughs> running backs that would not? On the two yard line, on a oh, three yard line, three yard line. 
three yards. It's plenty. It's plenty of star running backs that won't win that battle, man. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So you know, with that hand, if he has a hand, I feel like it'll be it'll, it'll be less. I feel like that hand will oh, kind of help him out. It'll help him out more. Yeah, man. as far I, as like I stopping guess. power. I, I mean, I hear you shit. Gronk out here catching footballs with one elbow. Right, uh, you know right. He's been like, doing that for a while now. Yeah, so I mean, I think it just depends on what position you play and how you play that position. But I, I think talent outshadows anything, and that, that that kid's got talent, regardless if he got a hand or not. Straight up, straight you know what up. I'm so yeah, they got a great value pick um, for that. Yep. That's, so that's my that's my that's my best value right there. Okay, okay, okay. Who you now, think? On, uh, on the flip side, who you think I picked way too early? <sighs> I think I'm a. I think we we'll go with the the, the obvious state. Well, there there's two. All right. There's two. All right. I'm gonna go with um obvious Baker Mayfield. Whoa. Okay, you don't like the <laughs> bake pick? I, no. Let me tell you about the bake pick. Okay. Let me break it down for you. So the bake pick, Baker Mayfield is a talent that is you know he he would have probably still been there at four. Uh-huh. Like I feel like. So who should they got at one? I feel like they should have got Saquon. I feel like they should have got. They just they just traded for Carlos Hyde. They just they just got Carlos Hyde. And they got. Uh, but at the same they time, got, they got Johnson. At the too. same time, they picked up Nick Chubb, which means that they felt they had a need or a void or they needed more depth at running back. Um. Right. He, <laughs> I mean, why? I mean, they picked up Nick Chubb in what the second round? Third, I want to say. Second, second or round. Second or third. We'll, 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 we'll have a right we'll have we'll have the Google machine going. Yeah, like, <laughs> they picked them up in the in the second round. Well, the yeah, second round, right. so they they felt like that was really important. All right, better question is is Nick Chubb that much of a fall off from Saquon Barkley? Do they do they? Okay, yes. Let me let me say this. Picking Baker Mayfield does is there was there a better quarterback running back combo they could have gotten than Baker Mayfield, Nick Chubb, um, and Saquon and any other quarterback? Hey, you got to repeat that question. I need so, to. So you look at the combination of Baker Mayfield and Nick right, Chubb, right? Right, right. Neither one of them going to get significant playing time this year. Neither one of them going to be, you know what I'm saying, starters. Agreed. And get a lot of playing time. Right. But down the road, they're going to be, they going to look to be the one-two combo along with all those wide receivers they got in Cleveland. Is there a better combination of quarterback and, run, and running back that they could have got that they missed out on? Be it Saquon Barkley or any other quarterback I, I mean, or any other running they, back with Baker Mayfield? I feel like they could have got Saquon Barkley. And um and Baker Mayfield, or they could have got Saquon Barkley and uh, uh Sam Darnold. Okay. Um, you like Darnold like that though? You think he gonna be nice? I mean, I don't know. Wait, so Sam Darnold went where? He went third. He went, he went third. He went third. Okay, so he yes. wouldn't have been there at four. So they could have got they could have got Saquon and and the uh, same they, guy they, they have. I mean, you, you look at you look at they could have got Saquon and they probably would have ended up with with Baker. Um, or say say I, he, say he was off the board, they would have got Sam Darnold. Or say he was off the board, they would have been able to get Rose and Allen. Like they, they had their pick basically. They would have went Saquon Barkley number one. They would have had their pick a quarterback. I believe they picked right. Baker because the Jets were going to take Baker. Baker Mayfield. Yeah, they were going to okay. take Baker. But but either way it goes, if the Jets didn't take Baker Mayfield, then right, Sam Darnold would have been there. Question, so so it was a win win. So, right. So Baker, there's not there's not a big. Huge drop off from any of the quarterbacks that were but taken in the first round. Huge run. drop off from the running back perspective. What you're saying? I, I feel that that it, that it uh, is. Uh, I feel uh, like it's some running backs that I feel like first. Dallas. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> you got you got guys like first of all, they got Nick Chubb, right? But at the same time, New England historically has not gotten dry picks wrong. Yeah. Right. Yep. So I mean, uh, the fact that they picked Sony Michelle over Nick Chubb. Shit, man. Sony Michelle showed his ass every time he was healthy. And especially in the postseason last year, mm. Nick Chubb was a starter. Don't get don't get it twisted. He got majority of the carries. Right. But when it came down to the rubber meeting the road, man. When it came down to winning football games and getting to the championship, trying to get this ship, they put in Sony Michelle. They put it in his hands. Exactly. In and the that, Rose Bowl, you know what I'm saying? The playoff game. Who who, who got all the touchdowns? Sony. Who, who got all the yards? Who got all the catches? Sony. So, and, Sony and, and plus, and work, man. And, and plus, Sony is a is a South Florida a South Florida. Uh, a South Florida guy. South Florida project. South Florida yeah. project. So you know we we, we 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 <laughs> we uh we known for running backs, receivers, and whatnot down here. But um, the fact that like they picked him, he they was fa- the fifth ranked in the draft. He was the fifth ranked in the draft, but the, I mean, that's Nick Chubb was okay. But I'm saying like, I don't know. I feel like they should have got Saquon, and then they could have got a quarterback. It's not a big drop off from Baker Mayfield to. Okay. Sam Donald. So I was gonna, I was gonna say something similar to that. So 
not uh, not even about who got picked too early. Actually, all, all of it rolls into the same topic. We talking mm-hmm. about the Cleveland Browns. He doing some crazy shit. Up <laughs> pick a Baker Mayfield. Okay, what? I'm not I'm not too too sold on that pick, but I don't have a problem with it. They needed to get a quarterback, so they say. But Denzel Ward, where that come from? <laughs> What's up with that? He wasn't even I'm, a top. I'm gonna tell you exactly where that, that, where that comes from. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you exactly where that comes. That that came from him running a four three. It's stupid. Him running a four three. He's a top rated defensive back. And Simple. They, they just jump and go ahead and get this dude out of nowhere. They pulled it out of there. He 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 ran a four three. That that's how he's picked. Had he ran a four four eight, he wouldn't be. A, he wouldn't have got picked by Cleveland. That's wild. That's wild to me. So that's 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 the first thing. That's he got picked way too damn early. Way too early. But Cleveland as a whole. They had a ton of picks, and all they picks are surprises. No, no. Baker Mayfield, Denzel Ward, Nick Chubb. Like I, I just, I can't follow the logic behind what well, they're picking when they pick it. Well, you, you, you got to remember, Cleveland is now the, the GM now is is Highsmith, the guy from the U. I'm sure Conley will be throwing up the U signs, but um, he was in Green Bay, and he was you know like the assistant GM for a very long time. And I mean, shit, well, we got, no, we got to he, he, Cleveland's he, defensive he, coordinator is Greg Williams. Now. Like he's a coverage defensive. But like guy. I said, that don't mean shit. We got the in Oakland, we got the damn GM from Green Bay when they pit Aaron Rodgers and shit like that. What we got going on down there? Right. Who who's that GM? Reggie McKenzie. Right. But I'm saying that. Hosmith is going to get Cleveland right. It, you can't doubt or you can't deny that since Hosmith has been there, since just this offseason, that Cleveland has been making good moves. Other than the Baker Mayfield thing, I really can't complain about any other moves that they made. I just, I'm just, it's just, I don't see, I don't see them going out the position of need. Oh, I didn't see well, them going out the position of need. They got the tackle in the second round. They needed to replace Joe Thomas. Right, but they. Right, they waited. You know what I'm saying? To the second round, granted it was the first pick of the second round, they got him. But what I'm saying is, is why they go corner? They could. I mean, the tackle was gonna be there, but why? Why you go corner and then why you go Nick Chubb if you really wanted to run it back that bad? They should have got Saquon. Should have got Saquon with the first. Exactly. Doesn't they make any make any sense to me. They need D line. They did. They they actually addressed the D line um, with. with with Chad. No, was it Chad Thomas? Mm-hmm. Chad Thomas. They bringing him to come. Rush the passer with um, Miles Garrett, first round, first overall pick. First overall pick last from, year. From last year. So they, they're looking at. I think Cleveland might have had a first o- a, the most first overall picks in the last like 30 years. Especially yeah. Compared, compared, football compared football. to any, they, any franchise. They, they've been historically horrible, uh, just, Cleveland. It, 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 yes. Yeah, I, I look at it like this same thing that happened with LeBron. At some point in time, stats got to. They're going to get one out of. 85. Well, now that they got Hosmith, I believe in Hosmith, man. I mean, they're gonna win one time he, out of 100 he, years, just like Chicago Cubs did. Like, <laughs> they might not be good, but they're gonna get lucky once. <laughs> All right. It's like my Bills. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. For real. Uh, oof, the Bills. Jesus. Yeah, well, 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 we, we could, we, we want to introduce a special guest right now, uh, Mr. Go, Brian. Go, go oh, ahead. we gonna, we gonna call him. What, what are we gonna call, call him? Here? We don't con man. Con man, con man. We don't call him con man. man. Con man, come pull on, pull come up, step on the mic. Seat, pull up, pull up, step on the mic, man. Pull up a seat. Going on, fellas. Pull up a seat. And ladies, right. and ladies, and fellas, and all of that. All right, let me, let me, let me just ask you: What is your state? Uh, what's the state of Buffalo right now? He's a Buffalo Bills fan. I know, I know. For everybody out there that's saying that, yeah, he's actually a Buffalo Bills. Yeah, I know there's not very many of us, many of us left crawling around. But now, why would anyone? But, 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 before, but in Miami. let me let me introduce the Buffalo Bills again. Um, they're basically almost pretty much like Cleveland. They never really won nothing. They won. Um, they won a lot of second places. They won a Last lot of second places. First, Ninety-nine. But if anybody, no, they won this past year. Oh, that's right. That's right. See, don't, it, was, don't, it was a blink. Don't do the boys like that. They, 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 they could have won. If, if anybody won. has ever watched Ricky Bobby, you say you ain't first, you last. Shake and bake. They you the get best, what I'm saying? Best second place team right. probably ever in the history of sports. The best second place team. But um, no, but best um, they they they, they, they they actually they won ever. they went the four straight Super Bowls though. So we'll give them like some some type of credit. Right? Forever. We're yeah. the four straight Super Bowls. Now, nobody's, nobody ever, else, nobody else has ever no, done it. Nobody's ever historically lost like that. Yeah. We know but um, goes every you other get there year. and then you just take a shit. <laughs> yeah, they definitely did. Yeah, what's the Quite state? What's the state? Step on the mic. What's the state of Buffalo yeah, right now? Speak it to the mic. Yeah, we, yeah, I mean, we're looking good. I'm pretty happy with the first round. You know, we got uh, moved up, got the quarterback. We needed to address that big time after shipping Tyrod to Cleveland. <laughs> so, uh. I was not uh, happy with that decision, but hey, you know you got to move on. So 
that's what they did, and they moved on with the young, fresh uh, face from Wyoming. So we'll see what this <laughs> from Wyoming. We'll see what this kid can do. He's actually from California. But when you were sitting there watching the TV, and they came out to announce the pick that Buffalo was picking, uh, not was it second round, first round, or the first round, first seven. round? How how do you feel about that one? Well, when I saw them, they they traded up and took Tampa's pick. I knew they were going to get a quarterback, and I was hoping they were going after Josh Rosen. And they walked up and said, the seventh pick in the draft is Josh. And I about jumped out of my seat, and then I heard Allen, and I had to sit back down. But, you know. So you're telling me you wanted Rosen over Allen, basically. I like, I like Rosen. I like the way he carried himself a little better. You know, he's uh, – but I've watched a lot of tape on Allen since he got drafted, and you know what, he's – Looks like he could be uh, could be the future, so we'll see. Like he could be the future. And then we got the future on our defense, you know, 10 picks later. So yeah. that was nice, you know, getting to be able to pick up Tremaine Edmonds from VTech that late. He dropped. He should have been a top 10 linebacker for sure. Uh-huh. It, 19 years old. Yep. Yeah, he yeah that's, to. that's surprising to me. 19, you know what I'm saying? How, How'd you get how to be able to remove yourself from high school for three years? But we'll see. I think, uh, you know, he turns 20 next week, so it must have been one of those, uh, you know. Sounds, sounds like a scam. <laughs> <laughs> he might have been, he might be, uh, you know, where they, where they like yeah, the doctor. Oh, birth yeah, something, you know? something going on. <laughs> <laughs> He's very smart. He graduated early. Hey, I, 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 was, I was just talking to, um, to Conley about uh, Buffalo and, and talking to him about how um, his division has pretty much been owned by Tom Brady and how Tom Brady has ruined people's careers. In lives, he's ruined. He's probably had. I want to see the divorce rate for quarterbacks for people in the in the, in the, in the division since Tom Brady has been. There. I want to see the divorce rate of the fans <laughs> since Tom Brady's been in the league. All fans, not even the AFC East. That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. I ain't gonna lie. I, I used to hate Tom Brady, but I gotta respect. All you can do is respect the, the man. The man is greatness. I actually kind of felt bad that he lost that last Super Bowl. I mean, I look at it like this, man. It's, it's ridiculous that somebody can throw 500 yards plus 500 yards, what, three touchdowns, four touchdowns, yeah. something like that, and, and not win the MVP. Well, I mean, let's think about let's let's take this time to reflect about all the Tom, all of the uh, Super Bowls Tom Brady has stolen. Stolen? <laughs> yeah, he's a thief. Yeah, they are cheaters. Right, tell if, me more. if he was in a tell third world country, about that. if he stolen? was in a third world country, they'd be chopping his hands off. He's yeah, been like stealing that? Super Bowls. <laughs> he's Why been is that? Why is that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, if you really look at it, all the Super Bowls he should have lost, he won, and all the ones he won, he should have probably lost. Right, name, name the person he should have lost. Oh well, first of all, he shouldn't have went the one. Let's let's go. Let's go. To, let's go. To, let's go. Let's go. Let's go back to Oakland. That's why. Let's go back to. Let's go back to Oakland where they're making uh, snow angels and they're in the snow and stuff. And they yeah. No, who was we? What you mean? Who was we? We was beating that ass. Right. So we we also oh, this is the two thousand and one AFC divisional playoff game. Where the Oakland Raiders got stolen with a fake got rule. stolen with a fake rule that has that rule ever been called before no, that? No, not never since. before that. What about uh, so they just made up a rule for Tom Brady? Pretty much. Okay. Rule book, nobody knew about it, kind of thing. Did that have anything to do with 9/11? I think so. Conspiracy. Oh, wow. That's that will that'll be the next show. We'll talk about that on another show. But um, <laughs> but um, yeah. So they actually stole. Uh, for those who don't know, <laughs> for those who don't know, that was Brandon. That was Brandon Ward. Um, he lives at. Uh, let me get his address. He was. Anyways, no, but um, <laughs> you know, they they uh, created a rule. Charles Woodson made Tom Brady fumble. They should have lost the game. They shouldn't have never even sniffed the Super Bowl. Uh, Oakland had the uh, NFL MVP that year at quarterback. I believe it's Rich Gannon. Rich Gannon. Um, and they they were they were unstoppable. Jerry Wait, Rice, Jerry Rice, Tim Brown. Tim Brown. They were they were they were Charles supposed Woodson, they were the best team Woodson, that never won the Super Bowl. The <laughs> but um yeah they they lost that Super Bowl so that's one that he stole. Oh, we got smoked by a coach that we just hired again. Why? But, but the thing is the thing is if you look at if you look at Tom Brady and his Super Bowl wins and Super Bowl losses the NFC East is his like arch nemesis. It's like his kryptonite. He can't beat Philly. He Tom lost Brady to Eli Manning twice. Tom Brady was Superman. AFC, I mean, the NFC East would be his kryptonite. Mm-hmm. 100%. Doesn't matter what team, as <laughs> long as one of them's in front of him, he, he ain't getting that W. He ain't getting that dub. All right. But, um, 
But yeah, get that's, way off the top. That's the draft. The, hey, Tom Brady well, that, well, it's just a Tom Brady rap. It's Tom Brady. We gotta go on a rant. No, I mean it, he has what five Super Bowls? Five or six. Four. This is four. His four. Is he the, is he the four or five? I know yeah. it. And it's not definitely he's not six. Five. He's one five. He's one five. One five and he's lost three. Three. So he's been to eight Super Bowls. Yeah. All right. He was a part of the greatest team he's ever. Won as many Super Bowls himself. More than most teams in the NFL. Shit, every team is up for two. Yeah, pretty much three. Three? Is it three? Three. Dallas, Pittsburgh, and Dallas, Pittsburgh, San Fran. Pittsburgh has six rings. Pittsburgh has six? Yeah, Pittsburgh has six. Dallas, got, Dallas has five. Dallas got five? San Fran has five. Who does have five? I don't know, I got three. Y'all had two before that? We got, we, yeah. Yeah, we got three. Well, we got the got other two with Roger Saul back. Oh, okay. That's what's up. That's yeah, what's up. And Drew Pearson, all of them. Yeah. And yeah, that 88. Yeah, he's got more. He's got Super Bowls 72, 70, more than 72, 78, 93, 94, and 95 or 96. 96 we with prime time, by the way. So Tom Florida Brady State. got more Super Bowls than 98 percent of the league by himself. Yes. Or 96. 90, 95, 90, 96, 96 percent of the league. That's yes. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Mm. He's on the league. Yeah, him, him and Belichick, but I, I think he sold his soul to the devil. Well, I, well I mean, let's let's, let's, let's the same contract. Let, the let's contract. now that we done had the state of Buffalo. All right, all right. I do think you guys made a hell of a pick as far as picking that that um, linebacker, um, nineteen years old. Um, you know, I like to see I like what he pick. looks I like. I, like I, I want to see what he looks like when he's when he's twenty two, twenty three years old. When um. <clears throat> You know he's he's been in the league for a few years. He's adjusted to the speed and everything. And he's still he young. Be one of the top top three to five middle yeah. linebackers in the league. Yeah, I agree. I yeah, agree with that. all right. All right. Yeah, all right. You think about that. We'll think. We'll come back to that. How many great linebackers there are in the league? We'll come back to that. That's the overconfidence of a Bills fan. We'll come back to that. I went with it. Let's go. Wait. Let's go. Listen. Since we just got derailed with this, let's go with. So far, like I said, we are we only in the fifth pick right now. Uh-huh. Who do you think, just career wise, off the top of your head, right now, who you think will have the best career? Individual player. In, individual player? player, offensively. Out of, out of all, or offensive. Give me an offensive oh, guy. Okay, give me a defensive guy. Right, let me hold. Let me let me scroll through. Give it me an quick. offensive guy. Give me a defensive let me guy. Let scroll through it real quick, trying to figure out. I mean, because uh, you got schemes, well, you, you got systems. Five you got five quarterbacks in the first round. One of those five. One of them. Not, not, one of them. not one of them. I don't think, I'm going to tell you like this. I don't think any one of those quarterbacks would be a significant starter in the NFL. Whoa. That's not, a bold not, statement. Not, not one of them. That's a bold statement. Not one of them. That's hey, a bold statement. That's a hot take Jamar, right there. Not one of them. If you want to put some money on it, we can. Put a five on it. Give it, I give it 500? Like, no. Oh. It's like it's got to be a rolling three year better. <laughs> that is wrong with you. Not happen. five years. Five years I from think, this date. Wow. Five years from this date. I don't think any one of those is going to start. set an alarm on my phone. Wow. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with out of the quarterbacks. I'm going to go with Lamar Jackson. Really? I'm going to go with Lamar Jackson. And I feel Baltimore? like I'm going I'm to go with Why? Lamar Jackson in, in Baltimore. They have literally no talent. No, they right now. Yeah, right now. They okay, have literally no right, talent. Right, but we're talking about over the course of a over career. Over the course of five years. So I think I, who do you? Think out, of, out, of, out of all the players in the first round, he's gonna sit. Let's, let's, he's let's, gonna sit and learn the most. From who? Flacco. And Flacco's good. Not at all. Oh, okay. But <laughs> but he survived some what some eight <laughs> years in the league. How long has he been in the league? So he's gonna learn from a, a D minus quarterback. He's gonna <laughs> listen. My, I feel yeah, like I, say, I feel like Tyrod learned a little bit from Flacco before he came to Buffalo. I mean, no, Tyrod was always better than Flacco. Yeah, yeah I won't. Di- I won't dispute that. <laughs> I wouldn't dispute that at all. But um, I, I feel like Flacco is trash, but he has something to offer. He Not has tall. something. That's it. He tall. <laughs> he can Wait, throw it a long ways. Well, Lamar gonna learn how to play tall in the pocket. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you think Lamar Jackson gonna be? Good? I think Lamar Surprise. Jackson is gonna gonna have a good a good career, man. Uh, honestly, I, I wanted to be it. Allen, but I'm, I'm I have a feeling Josh Rosen is probably gonna. Why be do you like Allen. Josh Rosen that much? Just because his swagger? I just like his way he carries himself. He's got that confidence and that that um. No, just don't, that, don't that, that, uh, Arizona. Uh, uh, no, no, nah, don't give me no. They got talent. Arizona. They got talent. Arizona. 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 Baker. Is a good now, don't get it twisted. I think that's why Cleveland went with Baker Mayfield because of his swagger. That franchise has right. been bad for so long that they need somebody with such a big personality to come and make just an impact. Right. And, Pretty and, much. And Johnny, much. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Manziel. Right Manziel. This, this is me. <laughs> yep. I agree. They need somebody. <laughs> they they, need, they needed that. They couldn't have a meat person come in there and take over. And when Manziel tried to do it, he's too much of a a nut to, to even try and 
do anything. Like Baker Mayfield's got his head on at least a little bit better than somewhat. Yeah. That was a, yeah. Right what? Well, well, at least there's no substance in this. Moving to the next subject. <laughs> That's it. Moving to the next subject. Let's, let's talk about let's talk about who came out of this draft too early. Who do you feel like should have probably stayed? You know, another year. Give me one from my hometown. Who 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 who? Currently Mark Google. Walton. Why'd you leave? I needed I at think, least why, one why more year. Yeah, I think Mark Walton was a senior. E- even if he no, wasn't, why would he, he stay? What was he? Gonna, can we go, can we get that on the Google machine? What, what was he's he going? What was he going to do in Miami? Uh, market well now he's got no chance because but I had a feeling he was going to start another year. What did he, he got, do? What did he do in Miami his entire career? Well, he got hurt last was year. It, is it Mark or Mark? Five weeks of, of shredding up defenses. He got hurt. Is it Mark or Mike? Mark. Mark. It's Mark. Walter. He's a sophomore. I don't think. He, and he was only a sophomore. I believe I he had another sure? year. Nice. To, yes. I don't think he was that nice, and I don't think he would have did much. Uh, yeah, going in the fourth round after thinking not that nice. 2005, 2016, 2000, I'm sorry, 2015, 2016, 2017. He was a junior. Uh, he just had finished his junior year. He played five games last year, and he got uh, like he had 420 I can't even yards. Tell who's, uh, who the underclassmen are? Uh, this year, well, we got Lingard. Well, DJ Dallas. Well, okay. Well, that you know what that wouldn't be a bad pick because coming off of a game that. Um, you know, he only coming off of a season that he only had 56 attempts for 428 yards, and he decided to enter the draft. Yeah. Who, who, whoever, who listen, uh, shout out to whoever um, um, convinced Mike Walton, Mark Walton, from the UM uh, University of Miami running back to go to the draft. Um, they, that's not your real friend, Mark. I just want to <laughs> let I you know. At, I, look at, I look at maybe his situation wasn't going to be any better. I don't think he would have improved much more staying another year. And I don't know well, what's, what's I, happening at home. Maybe but, he's got to go make some damn money. But look at the, about that. I look, think football wise, I just don't see. I don't see his stock improving staying at Miami. I see year. it improving Which because is the same thing with, with I see the, him the quarterback, the little by Felicia. I, I oh, see, by Felicia. I ain't see, see his stock improving by staying with Miami another year. I, I see it improving because yeah. you have Saquon. You have like. Guys that are you, Bo Scarborough, who hasn't gotten drafted yet. I don't even know Sony, why he has Nick, Sony blah, Michelle, blah, blah. Nick Chubb. Yeah. You, I mean, you had guys like I feel like he could have, yeah, I mean, Nick didn't fall very far, but I mean, we're talking about the class of running back, we're talking about which the is reason saying, why he's there would have been as many dudes in front of him, in front of him, got a better pick. right? And he would have had yeah. a better season. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't see that, I don't see, I don't see Miami being, what, being good enough for him to put in, enough numbers up to be better. He would have easily put up over a thousand last year had he not got hurt. You think so? He was at almost five hundred in five games. That's because y'all don't play nobody like that. Fifty-six attempts. That's because y'all play Bethune Cookman. No, 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 no. I'm talking. Y'all play Fam. You and shit. If you look at y'all schedule last year, games I believe FSU was one of those first. It was one of them. It was number four. It was. It was number four. He didn't have that much versus us, but I mean, you could you could count it. But y'all played y'all played three D one shit schools. The first, like they always the first do. Five hey, we're not going to get into it. FSU. I think mean, I mean, Georgia Tech here. might have been one of those games. Man, pull up. Man, you know what? Nah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you yeah. talking out of pocket? Yeah, he's so talking. Yeah, up. pull on up. Pull on up. Scoot over. Don't, don't go. Let's shy away from the mic. Scoot on up. Why, why we, why we doing that? Uh, I feel like I'm, um, I'm gonna have to pull that up because that, that really just made me very, very salty. <laughs> what are you? What are we pulling up? I'm right pulling now? up the Miami schedule and see where he got. This he guy got, telling he's uh, talking about. We got all these. these all he got all these charge from that you talking about. He was that nice. He had a great right. first five games. Yeah, Bethune Cookman, Toledo. Garbage, garbage. <laughs> Get out of here. Then y'all played us. Then y'all had Syracuse. Trash. I think G Tech was after that. Actually, game. no, you're right. Y'all actually y'all had Bethune Cookman. Arkansas State got canceled. Toledo. Y'all played Duke. Duke. Y'all had, play uh, which State. before we beat Duke y'all, was y'all a, a sleeper and then, and then team. And like Georgia Georgia Tech. Tech. So that's who so, he played so, against. So, so, we so played he against played, some good defense. Against, Toledo, Duke, Ooh. Florida State. He played against one but don't claim it. Z Tech, you just said, right? He played, no, Z Tech no. was after that. He was already hurt. Georgia Tech. He, he played against okay, one Georgia good Tech defense. <laughs> one. And that was Florida State. That was our worst year ever. And he averaged 7.6 yards a carry. What did he have against us? Now I'm going to pull up the box score. Let's pull up the box score. Let's pull up the box score. He was that nice. 
I think Mark was a... Was he had a, 25 yards on 12 carries. Get the fuck out get of here. Get the fuck he would not out, out of here. here. He would not have been there in Miami. He's, get he's the fuck out of here. See, see what you did, Kobe? You see, you made us go look at stats. So he got all his stats from bethune Cookman. And just like you guys talked about how Bethune-Cookman, how you like Bowen James is so much nicer than Sean Taylor when Sean had, what, 14 picks in two years in Miami? You're right. He didn't get the turnovers. You're right. That's because they were throwing at him. He blew well, at the same, at, man. At, no. Well, no, Sean was surra- surrounded, surrounded by way ball. more talent than that. Sean, Sean learned from Ed Reed. Sean learned from Ed Reed and and uh, Blades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike Rowe. Who else? Yeah, Mike Rowe. Uh, uh, yeah, about three or four. Philip Buchanan. NFL corner. Philip Buchanan. Yeah. Six straight years. Jonathan Bilma. All the same team. And that's why I said that you know I'd rather go with a guy that I mean how many of these Bama guys are really turning out in the league nice. like they, no, they're surrounded by talent no. so you you can't help but have good highlights when no, you when, sure. when the dude next to you is raw the dude next to you is raw the that's dude true. in front of you is raw the dude behind you is raw all you like, gotta do is worry about you, you all you gotta do is worry about you yeah. like you ain't trying to make plays like Durham was like trying to make plays game. you could probably only name two people on Florida State's defense nah I can name a lot not you him <laughs> For I sure. mean, I mean, <laughs> our defense got drafted pretty much. Everybody that, that that's been that went into the draft got drafted. You got naughty people trading up to get naughty. You got I don't Darryl. think did Thomas get drafted yet. Mm, I don't know. He made it in the draft. What's his name? Matthew Thomas. Yeah, I know exactly. Thomas. Which I believe they said he was the brother of Chad Thomas. Chad Thomas from Miami. From Miami. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. what's up. Yeah. They both ugly as shit. So yeah. they, it's yeah, very possible boys, that um they could be from the same genetics. <laughs> all right. Bad genetics. Which is uh, I don't know. Keyboard. Looks like pit bull and human. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I challenge you right now if you listen to this, pull up a picture of them. Right now. And tell me the line. Yeah, so now you got drafted. Well let's with um I'm uh, let's talk about before we can, we can get on UM in Florida State all day. Oh, all yeah. Day. Matter of fact, right. this is a sort of subject for this. We podcast. will have. <laughs> we will <laughs> have. Uh, Eagles picked up Josh Smith. Eagles going to be yeah. nice. We will have for a long time a session. I'm sorry. Sorry. A we, topic. We a per, a every podcast. every 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 podcast we're gonna have ten, a, we have, ten we minutes where we gonna dedicate to UM Florida State. UM Actually, Florida State. Not just UM Florida State versus the world. Cause we we got we got a shit on Florida fans too. We, 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 just a little bit. I, I, right. So we'll we'll we'll, 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 and if but yeah, you got a couple. Don't forget, fellas. Everybody listening, you got a couple homers on the mic. So <laughs> they're definitely on, homers to the Florida State time. love. But that's oh, all right. Hey, you're well, more than welcome like, to like, come. As a you're more than welcome to come any show. We all hate. You're more than welcome to come any show. Yes, we do. We all hate the Gators. We respect each other. It's a great rivalry. We'll invite Hurricane fans to. Drop we respect line, each other. Anybody. Throw a question. Anybody. Oh, call shit. in. I don't know. Whatever, 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 whatever you want to do, Fuck we can have a conversation weekly. Conversation weekly. Well, Anybody oh, come oh, out oh, more than welcome. The Packers just picked the kicker. The Packers or picked the punter, kicker. I'm sorry. Or punter. Punter. Florida. <laughs> okay. Yeah, All right. Somebody had to do it. We don't really We're consider those guys. athletes, but okay. I'm going to go with mine. I'm a, and I did say I'm going I'm to go with my pick, uh, a person who came out too early. I feel like. I'm sorry. Oakland just did that. Stupid. <laughs> Wait. Oh, so you guys got rid of. The best punter in the league. You guys got rid of the best punter in the league to draft a punter. What it looks like. It um. We got do you, do, to since you're an Oakland insider, please tell me why you guys got rid of uh, what's his name? We, what's his name? Let's get let's get a let's get a guy name first. What's his name? Oh uh, shit, Marquette, Marquette King. Marquette King. Please explain to me why Chucky got rid of Marquette. Chucky I'm gonna grab a beer while you explain that. He's an old white guy. He had like black guy doing all things. Is that what it is, race? As the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I don't, I'm not going to say anything about race. You know, Marquez a little too flashy for the way, you know, Chucky wants to live his life. Marquez out here putting in the, in the grocery store. He's putting on the street. He, you know, shooting the Instagram and the Snapchat videos. He's trying to be a little social media internet celebrity. And Chucky coming in here like, you know, trying to play football games. Yeah. And that, that's, that's what it boiled down to. So you don't really think it's a race thing, right? 
Nah, I ain't gonna say race <laughs> thing. I'm gonna say race might have played a factor into it because I don't see any white punters doing things like that. But I'm not gonna say it's a race thing. Whatever. He's unique. Um, he can come to the Cowboys if you want to. He uh, already got picked up. Oh, he where is he? By Denver. Oh, did we just pick up a quarterback? Fifth round? No. We picked up Mike White. Yeah, yeah. You say we? Um, oh, we probably about fresh the Cowboys fan here. We, uh, as we are talking about Cowboy Nation, we just picked up Mike White in a fifth round. One hundred. That shit doesn't even sound right, Cowboy. I don't. Doesn't sound retarded as fuck. America's team. Let's be more specific. America's, America's team. America's uh, anyways, um, that's what it said on the hats. When they came out? Well, on the cowboy hat? Cause you, talk about, let's talk about these hats. First of all, let's talk about the hats that, that, that's been coming out. What we, what we really going to talk about I like, is... I like what Rise he, Up. What he's referring to is something probably majority of the listeners of this podcast weren't alive for. Is the cowboys being good. Listen. <laughs> Alright, so um, how many Super Bowls y'all won in the last... I don't know, 40 years? We won three Super Bowls in our existence. In your existence. You know, get your rings up and then we'll talk. So we're at five. We're at five. Twenty-one year old. I was. I was there. Team was good. That, there's fine. There's thirty year olds that don't know your team was good. What are you talking about? You see, y'all get cheated. Whatever. Either way it goes. I admit it though. I'm not the one out here talking about America's team. I mean, that's what was on the hats when we came out. Look, I, matter of fact, those, I'm, are his, what those are historical. That's all that is. Well, okay, well, rise up. I like the Eagles, uh, not the Eagles. The Falcons? The Falcons was the I rise up when Michael Vick came. You don't like rise up? No, I don't really like that. I like it rise up. Like, it's like rise up. Yeah, I don't really like that. Well, you had a, what was your, what was Oakland? Shit, Raider Nation, Raider Nation, probably should have been Raider. E Oakland Raiders will suck again this year. Figure it out. Well, Buffalo, nice one with the believe. Buffalo said believes. You got to believe. They had a nice little heartfelt moment during the opening of the second round. They called up one of their lifelong fans who's battling cancer right now, and he got to call the call pick. So. Yeah, nice shout out to uh, Viva La Brua. Viva La Brua. What's that? What's that? Yeah, it's, uh, our hat say Raider Nation. Raider Nation. Keeping keep it simple. That's what a real nation sounds like. Not that cowboy. That shit don't go right. Damn, man. It's just, you know what? You make the world go round. You haters make the world go round. I just, you know, whatever it is, what it is. keep it real, man. You can keep it real. Browns Nation. I mean, they, 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 they haven't won a Super Bowl yet. Like, they don't have no nation. This is the dog pound. The Dolphins say fins up, which is probably historically the gayest shit I've ever heard in my life. They were orange, though, so you, it is what it is. They were teal. And orange. And orange. They got the most, like, pastel y, powdery. Pretty close. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, let's go to my who came out early. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we about. were talking about we were that. Talking about that. Let's get, let's As you know, we can get derailed very quickly <laughs> when you got alcohol, microphones, and football involved. <laughs> we can get derailed very quickly. I'm going to um, yield to you on that one. I can't even tell you who, who the underclassmen were. That's fine. Go on ahead. But I, I feel like we'd we be on the same page when um, when we talk about what Conley said, Mike Mike Walton. Right, Mark, Mark, I'm sorry, Mark. Mark Walton. Mark Walton, okay. Right, let's come back and check this five years and see where that guy's at. No, um, no we're important. We'll, we'll, I feel like Josh Sweat should have stayed another year. Um, he was probably one of, he was the number one, he was the highest recruit that ever came, that came to FSU that year. And he's just been hurt every year that he's been there. He's been playing through injuries. It'd be, it'd be nice if he can, Sit back, yeah, sit back and, and play and get a full, play, and get a full season, season in. Full season of stats, huh? Right, it's a full season of stats. Kind of like you know Demarco Murray did that year. <laughs> like, he 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 was hurt for the Cowboys. He like people thought Demarco Murray was like a rookie when he almost rushed for two thousand yards. But like I had to explain to people like he had been there for like three years. But because he was hurt, like nobody really knew that he had. He had been there for like three years or whatever. But I feel like Josh Sweat, man, he could have got another year. Show, show people that he's going to get healthy. He's a first-round talent, intangibles. Like, he can be in the first round. But I feel like he came out too early. When he got picked in the third round, fourth round? Who that? Josh Sweat. 
third round. So first round guy got picked in the third round. So I feel like he came out too early. I feel like he would have been in, you know, a top 15, top 20 pick in next year's draft had he, you know, came back and played a full healthy season. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Um, I think he still, even though he got picked, even though he came out early, he dropped and lost a lot of money. I think he's going to um, end up having a pretty decent career. I think he went into the most favorable situation going to uh, Philadelphia, who already got a stout. Well, that's what you just call and, just getting lucky. And, and he just got lucky. He ain't got to play that much. And he's going to do a lot of winning. And when he does play, he's going to have another dude taking up a double team. And he's going to get to go ahead and do his thing. So I think he just ended up running into the perfect situation where, yeah, he jumped out early. He could have made a lot more money. He could have been a higher pick. But his career is going to be nice. Right. Right. And you and you have nobody for anybody that, that's come out. I, don't even, I ain't gonna lie. I, don't, I can't even look. Even looking at the the list, man, I can't even tell you which which dudes were. Uh, what about? Were in the class, uh, I think a wide receiver name is like Pettis. He, he came out like he ended up. He ended up. Oh no, Mike White came from. WK Western, is that Western, Western Kentucky? Kentucky. Western Kentucky. That's the quarterback that uh, the Dallas Cowboys just picked up. Who you say, Pettis? Pettis, something like that. His name is Pettis, wide receiver. He was like a junior. Yo, you know what you went to? He went to no, no. I don't. But if you a junior and you coming out, man, like you should be top. If you, you should be in the first. Two rounds. You coming out as a junior, yeah. Oh, Dante Pettis. Dante Pettis. You should be in the first. If you coming out, yes. He went second round. He went second round. Yeah, mid second round. It's not terrible. Okay. All right. I just saw him still on the board. Oh, that's right. He went to the 49ers. That's where all the receivers wanted to go. They want to play with Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy G. Jimmy G. Jimmy G. The new Tom D. <laughs> There's one team in that oh, NFC I want to do good. That would be San Fran. Why is that? Because that, then you see that Belichick had to eat it by sending Garoppolo to San Fran, and that's where you know Tom Brady's the man calling all the shots in New England. <laughs> so you don't want Belichick to get no love, huh? No, man. That's what I'm telling up, me, bro. You, 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 uh, you a system guy, or you, you about the, the individual? I like the individual, man. Like I said, that's what's up. Brady, that's what's up. Brady has proved it time and time again that he's so, just... So you want, you want your team to have... One dude that runs the entire franchise, you don't want the franchise to above any players you're telling me. So, so uh, who, who, who the superstar over there in Buffalo right now? The superstar would be Shady. So if Shady, gotta be Shady. if Shady yeah. was like Trey, I don't know, who y'all just picked? Was it Allen? Yeah. Yeah, Josh he's Allen. Like, he's like Trey Josh Allen because he throw the ball too damn much. You'd be, you be cool with that? All right, I get your side. I get your side. I can see, I can see both sides. No, I wouldn't be cool with that. But, hey, you know, I, I guess I should just say, as as a Bills fan, I'm a Belichick hater. But how you be a Belichick hater and a Tom Brady lover at the same time? Those two things don't make any sense. They tied, it's kind of contradictory. They, they, they tied at the hip. If Tom Brady getting Jimmy G shipped out of town, it's actually a good thing because when he retired, I mean, the Patriots ain't got nobody behind him. Right. That was probably the best thing that ever happened to Buffalo. The best thing that happened for the NFL. You should thank Tom Brady when he retires. Send him a letter saying thank you, Tom Brady, for getting Jimmy with Garoppolo the, with, out the, with the Bills hat. With the Bills by hat you. signed by you. All right? Because he wants, <laughs> he wants a hat signed by you. Of course. Um. He got to know where it's coming from. So he didn't think you're crazy. <laughs> well, okay. Let's do this. What about your surprises? Your surprises in this draft. I'll tell you who my surprise is. What, but what about your surprise? My surprise is Cleveland. It goes back to who? Yeah, Cleveland. Cleveland. Why? Everything they did. <laughs> None of that shit. Everything they None did. None of they've done has made sense. <laughs> drafting a quarterback fourth overall, drafting a running back first pick in the second yeah, round. None, none of it makes no sense. sense. Cleveland as a whole is what surprised me. You got two two running backs back there that are proven in this league that are good yeah. running backs, and you draft another one in the second round. Yeah. You take right. a quarterback number one overall, and you could have took any one of those four at number four and yeah. got a running back. Exactly. Right. Well, I mean, Car Carlos Hyde. I don't know really. The only thing they I mean, did right is draft a kid from Miami. I don't know what Miami. his stats were like last year or whatever, but what, what was that? I missed it. What did you say? So the only thing they did right was draft a kid from Miami, Thomas. Which I do not agree with. No, I, I feel like that was a good pick for them. I feel like I feel like that was a good pick for them. I think to, to pair him up with Miles Garrett. Now, now we'll really see what's going on with Miles Garrett because that those guys can really get after the pass. So 
we'll, we'll see what's really going on. My, my, honestly, like my, <laughs> my uh, microphone check. My um, my surprise was the Miami Dolphins. Okay, with well, Mika Fitzpatrick. Mika Fitzpatrick. Um, I, I feel like because. My, Miami historically, let's look at them. I mean, just go look at their first round draft picks. Historically, they do one thing, one or two things. They either pick the safe pick, which is a lineman, which nobody really can go wrong with a lineman, or they go out and pick some bullshit. So, nah, so, I ain't gonna say they pick. Yeah, they, they pick bullshit. Who, so, who, who, who's been bullshit? Yeah, because they get still the lead. For, for as bad as a pick as everybody says, but they let him go. He's still in the league. What do you do for what do you do for them? He do nothing for them. He was a good talent. He was a good talent. But who did who 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 was pick right after Ted Ginn? Ah, Pull it up. Thank you. Uh, so who would you take? Ted Ginn or Patrick Willis? Who's still in the league? Who's still in the league? Patrick Willis retired last year. Who's still playing? That's all. That that he's still playing. Who, who's shit. effective? I'm just sitting there. Who played more Super Bowl? Is is Ted Ginn? Played the same amount of Super Bowl. Is Ted Ginn? When you mentioned the greats, is Ted Ginn even brought up in that conversation at wide receiver? No, no. but you got to. But Patrick Willis is. He might be a great, but he ain't. Patrick I'm Willis. About, I'm talking about production on the field. Period. Point blank. It's not. It's not about. It's not about. Okay, like, when you think about you, production who, on the field, who, who's playing longer? Who's playing more? And, and who's so playing you don't well? feel like you don't feel like Patrick Willis could have played longer? I don't know. Okay, so okay, we, put it like this: we 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 can bounce this, we can bounce this to a different discussion. Think about the best middle linebackers of all time. Uh huh. All right, top three. Give it to me. Top three. Ooh, yeah. Singletary. Okay. Uh, Buckus. Buckus. Okay. Uh, Ray Ray. Ray Ray. Right. Yeah. But Patrick Willis during his time in the NFL. He put up better numbers than Ray Ray did. Better numbers than Ray Ray did his entire year. Better numbers at that time. Better numbers. Ray Ray, at, better numbers. Ray better numbers. Older at that time. Better numbers at that time. And Scott played up better numbers. If than you, numbers if, you if you if you pulled up like not, let, okay for for instance, let's just pull up the first three years Patrick Willis played and the first three years Ray Ray uh, Ray Lewis played. See, we got the Google right we get, now. We can let's get on the Google machine. And let's pull up the stats. All right, so, you know, so who's it? Patrick Willis? There's probably Patrick no one Willis. better ever played middle linebacker than Ray Lewis. That's not good. You, you, you a homer too. We, 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 we but homer you guys both one. can acknowledge that. My point, my point is this, is when you look at it, all right, you, you going off sheer talent or you going off like being able to be like I'm going off longevity in the league, man. I'm, like, I'm going off, I'm going off, I'm going off talent. I'm going off. Oh wait, wait. Or right. you talking about as far as like Ray Lewis? Yeah. I'm talking. No, I'm talking about Patrick Willis versus Patrick Stan Willis. Stan I'm talking about. I'm talking about Patrick Willis <laughs> being one of the guys that <laughs> what had made an impact All right, on the so NFL. We gonna, we gonna go Patrick Willis first first three years in the NFL. Okay. All three years, sixteen games played. Okay. He's had between 141 and 174 combined tackles. You know, just the injuries that have caused him. I know. You know, I can dig it. Said it's a fresh start as well. Solo tackles. He's had between 109 and 135. He's had. He's had. Well, he's had between one and four sacks. Ten pass defenses. Uh, one interception. No, four interceptions in those, in those first. I'm sorry, four interceptions in the first three years. Not bad. Two touchdowns in those first three years. Mm-hmm. How many times All Pro? Uh, that, that's not a part of the stat. Oh, five time All Pro. We talking about three. We talking about the first. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. That was the first. Three. Okay. All right. Wait, 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 wait. This is no, this is this is not fair. Because <laughs> we're gonna go Ray Lewis's first three years. He didn't play. You got no stats. And we're moving on to the next subject. <laughs> so, all right. That surprised me about the Miami Dolphins. He appeared in between 14 and 16 <laughs> games. They, they didn't collect stats. He, he got, he got. What? They didn't collect stats. How are you going to show sacks and not show stats? Yeah, you know, he's right. Because they got, they got sacks, but they don't have tackles. They have no tackles. Are you saying? 90, 96 to 2000. They, they did not a, take he's, individual he's got, he's got, he's got stats. He's got the same amount. He's got the same amount of um, interceptions. He's got zero touchdowns. No pass defended. I don't know how that makes any sense. I think, I think Patrick Willis has 10. 10 in one season. Um, but I think the stats, the stat collection is different. Just looking at it, that how they got the games played mm-hmm. and the man's got sacks, but he don't got no no tackles or anything like that. They might have collected individual tackle stats back then. So, yeah, because his fifth well, year was 161 
assisted. Then he got hurt in 02. That's what I'm saying. So 03, 161, so 04, it's, it's, it's just a weird. This is a weird time to look at. So you can't compare generation to generation. Are they? Back, are they comparable? Back to back to the. Are statement. they comparable? Yeah, they are comparable. Back to the statement. Okay. Okay. Back to back to the statement. The point was the Dolphins suck, and they t- what you're saying is they typically don't make. They typically good don't. Decisions. I don't feel like they do. Well, okay, let's look, let's look at the, the Dolphins. Yeah. Draft, For, let's draft. look at that. No, 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 no. Let's look at all of their first really round. They've taken a lot of offensive linemen that have been busts in the Since last five years. Let's look at In the last let's, five to seven let's, years. Let's go, let's go last. When, when did Marino retire? 99. 99. I know, because that's when we beat that ass and he retired. Uh, let's go <laughs> Let's go to the last 18 years. Let's go to 2000. How about that? They've dropped a lot of right. first round offensive linemen. Let me see if I can find that. Historically. Probably started with the kid from Michigan. What was that? Uh, so, oh, Chad. <laughs> No, the yeah. offensive lineman from Michigan they drafted in the same draft. So let, while while we're waiting on him to pull that up, right. let's just go. Could we go? What, what year do you want to start from? Their first round picks. Let's go the past Dolphins. decade. Maybe no, 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 let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Two thousand. This is year two thousand. Okay, year two thousand. All right. They didn't, they didn't have a pick, but the right. next year they picked Jamar Fletcher. Jamar Fletcher. The 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 next first position. Uh, DB Wisconsin. First round pick. Compared to Jalen Ramsey? Well, okay. Yeah, no, we, we, I'm talking about that year. What all right. Terrible. It's a 26 pick. You, you, you yeah, okay, 26 pick. All right. Jamar Fletcher. The next year, they didn't have a first round. They didn't have a first round. The next year, they didn't have a first round. Vernon right, Carey. That, Vernon Carey. That's, that's, a, pretty, that's, that's, a, pretty that's a pretty good pick. Good pick. But he, remember, he I said Lyman. Remember, yeah. remember, I said Lyman. Remember, I said Lyman. I said, I said, other than Lyman. Lyman said, all right, all right at, okay. Probably last one I wasn't After that, Ronnie Brown. Ronnie Brown. That's a decent pick. Mm. Nah. He was injury prone, but in terms of mm. talent wise, that's a decent pick. Fourth next pick, right? Next, who, go to the next one. Who's the next one? Who's the next one? Let me see his 2005 NFL draft. I want to see. I want to see. They had Cameron Hack and Ronnie Brown with the first top five picks. Yeah. Top five picks. They put Alex Tim Smith, Ronnie Brown, Braylon Edwards, Cedric Benson, Cadillac Williams, Adam. Of these top 10 picks, probably only three of them still in the league or play a significant time in the NFL. Or four of them. Like that, that draft in a, in a hole. The top, Let me hear the top 10 picks. Let me hear the top 10 picks. Years ago, you're Alex, talking about 13 Alex years Smith. ago. 13 Alex Smith years still ago. playing. He's still playing. Ronnie Brown, injury prone. Braylon Edwards, injury prone. Cedric Benson, injury prone. Cadillac Williams, injury prone. Adam Pacman Jones, still in the league. Right. Troy Williams, I don't even know who the fuck that is. He played wide receiver for South Carolina. And where did he play after that? <laughs> he played in Minnesota. And then where? <laughs> It's a good question. It's exactly my point. <laughs> Antonio Roll played well, probably still in the lead. And then Carlos Rogers, injury prone, but played very well. Played very well. Carlos Rogers was, was, and then, and was and probably and the and best and on that list. And then Mike Williams. And then Mike Williams. Oh, Antonio Roll and, and Carlos Rogers. Shit, Aaron Rodgers. I mean, Alex Smith. Oh, Alex Smith, yeah. But and then Mike what are those top three? And then Mike Williams was number 10. Who played all of like three years in the league? So you look at the top ten, majority of those picks were busts. But again, right. this was thirteen years ago. This is not retired or injured. No, this is this is my point. This is my point. This is my point. Years. About, this right. My entire point is you're gonna you're gonna lamb base the Dolphins for making bad picks and picking Ronnie Brown, but every other pick in the top ten of that draft was shit too. Like no matter who wait, they would, wait, wait, no matter who they would have picked. It where did the shit pick start? We were just talking about how right. bad the, 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 the offensive okay. line. Where did the shit pick start? Two and six. Who's who's number one? Alex Smith. Okay, who was number two? Ronnie Brown. Okay, the shit pick started right there. But, but all the other picks behind him were shit until. No, Alex Carlos Rogers was good, and then. Carlos Rogers was Pac-Man the ninth Jones. pick. Carl- exactly. <laughs> well, okay. So for Pac Man Jones is pick seven. Okay. So you saying pick, pick Pac Man at pick two? Pick Carlos Rogers at pick two? I would have picked Carlos Rogers. At, at number two. I would pick up. Bullshit. Why not? Or trade back? No, no. What you're telling me? I wouldn't have picked Ronnie Brown. Your orders are I wouldn't have picked Ronnie Brown. I wouldn't have picked Ronnie Brown. Ronnie Brown carries more weight in the league. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have picked, revisionist history. Which I wouldn't have picked a guy that bro. wasn't starting for his own team. Coming out of it, Ronnie Brown was starting. He was they not starting over Cadillac. They split carries, carries easy. They ran, they ran basically the wildcat. He wasn't starting over Cadillac. Cadillac. Y'all crazy. Either way, way goes, <laughs> the next pick, Josh, Jason Allen. Uh, okay. Tig in. Other, like I said, other, other than the offensive lineman, Jake Long. Other than the offensive lineman, they, they did pretty good. Davis, he still Jake Long didn't even get to a second contract. Kind of a first round overall. Jake Long, Jake Long played overall. a while in all right. right, but he didn't get to a second contract with the Dolphins. The right, because he left. left. Just like Philly. I mean, just, I'm sorry, just like Tag in. He, he left. He left. He left because they wouldn't pay him. No, he, he left because he couldn't go Va- get paid. Vontae Davis. He wouldn't pay him. 
Vontae Davis. Vontae, not there. Again, shit. Jared, 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 Jared Hunter. But he's still, but he's still in the league. Garbage. Jared Audrey. Did, did he get paid? Who? Jared Audrey? Who no. Who got paid by the Giants? Uh, that would be... Um, oh, that was Olivia Vernon. Yeah, Vernon. Oh, okay. All right. Ryan T- uh, Mike Pouncey, which we Mike not Pouncey count Lyman. We not count Lyman. Okay. All right. Ryan Tannehill. Still Ryan Tannehill. NFL quarterback. Garbage. He'll be gone. Still Dion Jordan. Dion Jordan. Bad idea. Third overall pick. Bad idea. Jawan James. Still. Jawan James. We're not talking Lyman. Who not is Lyman. that? We're not talking Lyman. Devontae Parker. Right. Still, still bald. Devontae Parker. Okay. Bond for who? How many catches did he have last year? How many catches did he have last year? 12? Devontae Parker is good. However, he's talented, talented, but he don't We'll see this year. We'll see this year. We'll see this year. In a year before that, he was a rookie. Listen. What do you mean? Listen. Okay, so... So, Chalk, this coming look, up, look, this upcoming year is his fourth year. He only played three years ago. Right. Lur- Lurmy Tunsil, Tunsil, right? See, Colin, Colin made me go back and get stats on No, man. listen, Lurmy Tunsil, let's stay focused right now. Because we're getting to my point. Lurmy Tunsil, and then you got to steal him. Charles Harris. Thanks, who the Gash fuck mask. is that? We Charles Harris who? actually a damn good defense. Charles Harris was the guy that played D-line with the, I'm sorry, not the, um, whoa, 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 not the, uh, whoa, whoa. The, the guy that played, with, we'll, we'll delete that one out, <laughs> but the guy that played D-line with, uh, <laughs> the guy that played D-line with, um, the guy that kissed the other guy on TV, what's his name, uh, Michael Sam, that guy, he got cut, yeah, he had to get it signed, yeah, wait, who drafted him? St. Louis. Was it the Rams? Yeah. yeah. Who traded for him? Who, who team he is? No, he was, the, he was the very last pick of the He was like the game. last pick of the draft. Very last last last. What? When? He never put him on the practice squad. He never even, no, he was on the practice squad, maybe. Yeah, he never played it down. Yeah, he never played it down. He never played it down. He never played it down. Hey, I just know listen. It, was, it was 31 other teams, only one team gave a check. All I'm saying is, <laughs> no, 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 the Rams gave him a check. Listen, all I'm saying. I'm just saying what one team gave a check. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm saying is, look at all those picks and then look at Minka. Okay. Right? Uh-huh. Minka's a good guy. He can play safety. He can, he can cover the slot guy. He, he brings a lot of things to the table. I think. Out of those guys that we just named, he's gonna have the best career since, since 2000. I agree. Since 2000, I agree with that. So that Again, surprises we'll you. I don't know. I mean, Ryan back from uh, Alabama back home. for how long? Since he's been in the league, like you well, said, he was there, a there, receiver. That's the I mean, my ear has been to the street. They, they, Ryan said he's not, he's not gonna be there next year. Next year, as in 2018, or as in 2019. That's how ball, how much he balls out this year. If he has five thousand yards right. and thirty touchdowns, he ain't going nowhere. Right, but even if he okay, if he like, has a year that he's been having, he will not be there in two thousand nineteen. Even, even if he's not with the Dolphins, he'll be in the he'll be a starting quarterback in the NFL. Yeah. Ryan Tannehill is probably is I'd say top sixteen quarterback. Yeah, yeah. he's better than half the league. He's, he's, I'll put him at top twenty. Think about what else is out there. Think about what Tim's at. I'm going to be a top 20. Until you make a name, name them. Think about the way the Houston Texans were throwing out there. I'm savage. You guys like that. Name 16. I would take Watson over him. Stop stop that. Name 16 quarterbacks better than him. You want me to sit up here and and name 16? If you're going to make a statement like he's... Top twenty. Top name, twenty. Name, name. Okay. Name thirteen quarterbacks. Name thirteen quarterbacks better. Than better than Ryan Tannehill. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you go. I like. Uh, okay. Last year. All right. I like Watson. Okay. I like. Uh, I like Dak Prescott. Off a, rookie, off a rookie season where he only played less than half the games. But okay. But that was impressive. I take okay. him right now. Okay. Who do you take right now? But, but okay. Who would you take? But okay. No, okay. I would, all right. I would take Ryan next. Next. I don't, I don't like Oh, oh yeah, whatever. Then that's your yes. Your I think Deshaun Watson is last year's RG three. I'm taking not even RG, not even not even because RG had a not whole even RG three. Jared Goff. That ain't Ryan Tannehill. Yes, Jared Goff. What are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? Mean? Future earnings? Like, like, what are you talking about? Currently, right now, better. Right? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna let you, I'm, gonna let you, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you have that. I don't. Still agree. I don't agree. I don't agree. What? I don't agree. Still on day nineteen. I don't agree. What? Okay, Jared Goff. Two. I don't agree. That's Jared Goff. Dak Prescott. Dak. Derek Carr. Carr. That's uh, Andrew Luck. He's got a Kirk Cousin. Because. Kirk Cousin. Cousins, okay. Um, Eli Manning. Okay. Uh, Carson Wentz. 
Okay. I might even fucking put Nick Foles over him. You can't. He won a Super Bowl. Why, why can't you can't? Because he wasn't a starter until Carson Wentz got hurt. But he. You can't. You can't give up any backups. In Tennessee. What the fuck? Why can't I? Because when the okay. season started, he wouldn't have been on anybody's roster, let alone what the, the Eagles roster. Okay. But he won a Super Bowl. He won a Super Bowl because another dude was hurt. I, they pulled him off the streets. I, I, I'll give you that but one. But it's cool. Like, I'll, give I'll give you so that you one. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Tom Brady. <laughs> Drew Brees. <laughs> <laughs> James Winston. Okay. All right. Um, let's, I would go with Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo also was a starter. <laughs> What's his starter. record as a starter? He wasn't a starter. He won, maybe. He's got five game samples. What's his yeah, record as a starter? I can't go with that. Okay, all right. Don't go with that one. Don't go with that one. Russell about who, Wilson. Talking about who started Russell this Wilson. year last Russell year. Russell Wilson. Okay. All right. You got 12. It's right down that way. Um. Mm. And, and, and two of those I'm going to definitely disagree with. So you had 12. What? You had 12, but I hold oh. hardly. I don't agree okay. with Jared Goff and Andre and Deshaun Watson. Okay. That's you. I, you crazy then. Um, Matt Ryan. Matty Ice. Okay. Um, so you had 11, technically. Cam Newton. Okay. That's 14 uh, or 12. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him two. That's 14. Joe Flacco. Weak. Hey, <laughs> Joe Flacco. What do you mean? Joe, Joe Flacco, man. What do you mean? 